<laughs> so in 2005 the city of New Orleans made it mandatory for people to label their coffins you're asking yourself why or not i'm tell you so 2005 kuna kitu major sana ili happen New Orleans ambayo ni uh, Katrina Hurricane Katrina so Hurricane Katrina was so devastating was so devastating ilikuwa inabeba coffins mali wasio wamezikwa inazipeleka faroba mbali dead wewe una imagine mumezika mlevi wenu kiambu mnakuja mnapata bana coffin yake iko kweva ama 1824 Then your process to you try to identify whom he alikuwa nani alikuwa amezikwa wapi was just too much it's too much man not too much so the state of the city of new orleans wakasema mazek toka leo let's just be labeling our coffins tafadhali ndio msitupatie hii kibarua in case kitu kingine kama hii happen now you know season 3 episode 3 a headline hitters and if you see him Kurgans in the building you just know he's got the juice man mm. mwaka ni 1992 1992 kuna mahali pale location uh, inaitwa uh, Sierra Leone kuna country inaitwa Sierra Leone iko West Africa Sierra Leone wamekumbwa na shida fulani Right next to them kuna country hapo inaitwa Liberia. Liberia ni country imekataa kazi kabisa. Huko wanaoperate na watu wanaitwa nani? Rebels. Rebels wamemaliza kuchokoza watu Liberia, wameamua kuvuka boda, wameingia wapi? Sierra Leone. Of course Sierra Leone hawezi kaa chini, wakubali Liberian rebels waingie kwao, waanze kuchokoza. So Sierra Leone government imetuma Sierra Leone army huko kwenda ku jaribu ku kufukuza ku, wa ma rebels sababu ma rebels kule wanafanya watu mbaya in fact ilikuwa ni killings rape na mutilations watu walikuwa nakatwa mikono huko unashindwa why mbona unakata binadamu mwanzako mko why so SLA Sierra Leone and army imetumwa kule wanakabiliana vikali na nani na rebels wa Liberia lakini wadao kuna ngori manake Sierra Leone and army mazee wako chini in terms of uh, weaponry wako chini in terms of kila kitu like hata vitu simple kama medical hakuna wanaumia huko bunduki zao ni mzee hawana ammunition ya kutosha so walikuwa wanakula vita vikali sana huko huko uh, Sierra Leone at some point kuna platoon dogo tu ya kama watu 12 hivi wako pale wanakabiliana na marebels nini nini mmoja wao akakula risasi ya mguu Majamaa pale ndani ya platoon wanapiga ripoti huko wanaambia serikali mazee kuna mtu wetu amepigwa nini yako mbaya mnaweza tutumia medivac eh, medical evacuation tumeni helicopter ikuje itoe huyu jamaa sababu ana bleed sana mazee asiposhughulikiwa huyu ataenda serikali inawapiga blue tick wakijaribu jaribu wanapata mtu mtu anawaambia wadau hata tufanye nini hatuna helicopter ya kukujia huyu mtu wakadai basi kama hakuna helicopter si mtume hata daktari mtu tu akuje ashughulikie mjamaa wetu e, anesthesia nini apigwe kasajari haraka haraka e, wakamwambia bwana daktari anaweza patikana lakini hapo kwa anesthesia hapo haki kwa madawa pia tuko chini sijui haki tutawasaidia aje imagine hao majamaa kwa hiyo platoon wali watch as mmoja wao anafanyiwa surgery ya mguu without an anesthesia ama ni an anesthetic Thetic. anesthetic ikizungua hiki kitu ni ngumu man imagine unafanywa operation ukisikia sababu maze serikali yenu haina madawa haina vifaa haina kitu one of the platoon members was a young captain 24 years by the name Valentine Esegrabo Melvin Stresa ako hapo anaangalia kijana wake eh, platoon member wake bana akifanywa operation bila anesthesia hiyo kitu inamkwaza mbaya 
anaamua no sitasimama maovu ya kitawala i must do something about it wadao kule ni pause hapo wacha niwapeleke nyuma mpaka mnamo april 26 1967 mahali kijana huyu Valentine Esegrabo Stressa alizaliwa pale Freetown capital city ya wapi ya Sierra Leone amezaliwa kijana pale kijana amekuwa vizuri ameingia shule anafanya fiti sana pale shule kidogo kidogo ameingia high school mnamo 1985 sije kama kuna tuko sawa sti mnamo 1985 kijana Valentine Esegrabo Melvin Stressa ana graduate anafanya graduation eh, high school pale Freetown nimesahau jina ya high school mnaweza niambia hapo kwa comments so immediately anamaliza ile kazi inamuita ile unajua kila mtu anakoga na kariya fulani inamuita ile kazi imemuita ni kuingia military of course sababu ni mtu amekula kitabu vizuri anaingia kama cadet anatrainiwa place fulani inaitwa Bengwema piga training yake safi pale Bengwema na in 1986 ana enroll kwa eh, Sierra Leonean Army pale anatumwa Liberia kufanya mambo ya nini peacekeeping anaenda Liberia anafanya peacekeeping huko nini nini then wanarudi oh, oh, oh. akirudi tu Sierra Leone akifikiria vita sasa amemalizana nayo kumbe vita imemfuata kutoka Liberia imekuja wapi kwao Sierra Leone. So akiwa wametulia pale wanaambiwa eh kule east of Sierra Leone pale kwa boda yetu na Liberia rebels wa Liberia wameingia ndani. Wanakatakata watu wetu pale vibaya sana. So itabidi nyinyi tuwatume tena kule muende mupambane nao mukabiliane nao vikali. Of course uh, Valentine Stressa anachukua wito, anachangamka teke teke, anaingia wapi? pale the eastern side of Sierra Leone wanakabiliana proper proper na wale wa Liberia lakini wa Liberia bana wasijua wametoa wapi ammunition wako na equipment vile inafaa Sierra Leonean army wana struggle hakuna bunduki marisasi hakuna oh medical sijui nini nothing wanapata tabu sana pale ndio inafika huo wakati wakati wako pale frontline war zone mmoja wao anapigwa nini anapigwa risasi mguu hii ni noma it's life threatening lazima kitu ifanyike hapa wanaitisha bana eh, medivac haikuji wanasema wapatiwe basi medical hapo on the ground inakuja nusu nusu oh daktari ampatikana lakini hakuna madawa jamaa anafanywa operation akisikia noma kijana anaamua no this cannot be the situation hapa tuwezi kuwa tumekuja vita na tu, si wenyewe country yetu it support kupigana na, na adui no lazima turekebishe so valentine stressa anashikana na wenzake wengine watano kwa hiyo platoon wanakaa chini wanaamua you know what we must pay the president a visit atuambie ni kwa nini hana pesa yetu sisi watu wa military na sisi ndio tunalinda nchi yake so wakapanga mambo yao vizuri na ikakuwa before wa take over the government jua likaa chini wakaona hapa dawa ni kuchukua tu serikali na wafanye mambo ndani but before to take over the government wacha tuende tuingie office of the president huko tu raid tuangalie kama kuna information huko inaweza tusaidia na tuingie state house pia huko tuangalie kama kuna vitu zinaweza tusaidia huko ndio sasa tukuje tu regroup tuende tu take over serikali vile inafaa so anashikana valentine stressa watu wake wengine watano and they march to the uh, presidential uh, the office of the president uh, in the middle of freetown wanaenda kikosi nusu inaingia office of the president stressa na watu wake wengine wanakimbia wapi state house wanaenda wanaingia state house pap 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 pa. kumbukeni hapa si serikali wanachukua hapa kuna vitu tu vitals wanaenda tu wakitafuta tafuta huko ndio wakuje wajipange tena vizuri take over wanaingia pale state house wanapata kwanza uh, ni kama watu ni kama hawako wanapanda panda huko kwa masteas wanaingia kwa maroom wanapiga mlango moja teke wanapata the sitting president of Sierra Leone at the time jamaa anaitwa Joseph Momo amejikunyata ndani ya bafu amejificha sababu amesikia kuna vijana wameingia na ni vijana wa military na vile wanakaa hawakai ni kama wanakuja kuuza nyanya wamekuja kazi So wanaingia anaingia kwa bafu anajificha mlango inapigwa teke stressa na vijana wake wawili watatu wanaingia wanapata Joseph Momo president sitting president amejifungia kwa bafu Joseph Momo hataki shida anainua mikono anaambia stressa na vijana wake mimi hata sina ngori chukueni country in fact imenichokesha hata mimi i don't want nyinyi fanyeni nayo kile mnataka 
kina stress sawa na shindwa ngoja leo hatukuwa tuna take over leo ilikuwa tu ni kukuja reconnaissance huyu anatupatia country i think hata mmoja hapo alianza kusema no president hatutaki kuchukua akakanyago we nyamaza wewe tushapewa inchi ni nini sawa buda toka toka kwa bafu toka kapigo handcuffs hapo teke teke wakatoka nje simu zikapigwa ikasemekana serikali sasa iko mikononi mwa kijana anaitwa Valentine S. Grabo eh, Melvin Stressa kwa hivyo tumeni helikopta huyu president tumweke hapo tumsukume nchi jirani ya gini teke teke chik 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 chopa inakuja ina land status Joseph Momo sitting president anawekwa ndani ya chopa cha 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 chopa inaelekea wapi gini at exactly 25 years and 3 days <laughs> Sierra Leone inachukuliwa na kijana Valentine Esegrabo Melvin Stressa Again at the tender age of 25 years and 3 days Bas Stressa amekalia kiti sasa sasa ni kurekebisha reforms. Kwanza tuanze na military. Nimeumia sana nikiwa kwa hiyo military. So lazima tutengeneze. Watu wa military wanashughulikiwa. Ni nini wananchi wanaitishanga huku? Oh, maambulance zilikuwa zinafanya kazi Sierra Leone sikuizi aziko. Zilifanya ziliharibi. Oh, serikali imeshindwa kununua import maambulance huku. Like services za serikali zianze ku yani mambo iko sawa. Mafuta ilikuwa inakuja huko na shida na gas, sasa zileteni. Mafuta na gas inaingia. Economy ya Sierra Leone inaenda juu wale vijana walikuwa na chama inaitwa eh, N NPRC National People Something Council if I'm not wrong niambie ni hapo kwa comments NPRC wale majamaa pale wa, wa Sierra Leone walikuwa wamepatia hiyo acronym eh, ni, ni tofauti NPRC walikuwa na maanisha na Pekin Ron Country yani watoto wanaendesha inchi sababu believe it or not <laughs> the guy who was like eh, stressor's assistant was 21 years na yeye ako 24 25 sorry so ni basically ni watu hiyo walikuwa na rani kitu and they really tried for like the first one year one and a half alafu after hapo ujana ika take over sherehe ikaanza unajua ukishafikalia kiti ufanye fanya tu mambo unaanza ku discover uko na tu privileges ah yani hizi diamond tuna mine hapa kumbe naweza letewa mimi kama president ai kumbe naweza ziweka kwa ndege nikimbie nazo europe niende niuze na hiyo pesa mimi niweke kwa mfuko ai kumbe mimi kama president niko na ma privilege hivyo sasa akaanza kukula country yake pole pole yeye na mavijana but pale kwa kikosi kuna jamaa fulani hapo ambaye unajua pia kama kijana unaangalia ukiona vijana wangu kuna vitu hawawezi unatafutanga mtu ambaye ako na maarifa zaidi unamweka karibu na wewe anakuwa ni kama endio eh, wanaita gonani advisors so valentine stressor alikuwa na jamaa anaitwa um, bio julius bio Julius Bio alikuwa pale eh, ni kama ndio eh, eh, advisor kidogo akiwa na mashida shida nini anamuongelesha at some point Julius Bio became the number two in command eh, pale Sierra Leone so vijana wanaendelea kupiga sherehe zao Julius Bio ana, anaona tu from a distance but ana say ana say serikali iko kwa mikono ya vijana Julius Bio at the time was a bit older than uh, than stressor i think uh, Bio was like four years older So yeah na ana watch tu vile vijana wanakacheza man vijana sasa <laughs> total disregard for the office huyu mtu anaingia meeting za serikali amepiga t-shirt look yani utafikiria yeye na Jesse ni watu wametoana mbali anaenda meeting za commonwealth amepiga jeans amepiga t-shirt nini ako kwenye zile mastanas zile ma, ma, madigolo za gladiators mnajua si gladiators zile za aviators zile za mapilot yani jamaa ameenda tu pale luku at some point kwa hiyo meeting ya commonwealth hata queen alikuwa anataka kubonga nao ndio ajue hii hii conflict yenu na Liberia tunaweza isuluhisha aje oh kijana akapiga queen blue tick hakuwa na time ya wamama wazee mm ye bado ni kijana mdogo kimbiza mabebe pale nini we ha what valentine did not know 
ni kwamba hapo nyuma tu Julius Bio ana watch huu kijana. Ashaona huu kijana is on a path of destruction. Hakuna vile country itaenda mbele huu kijana akiendelea kushika usukani. So at some point vijana wengine wanajiorganize, wanaamua it's time to take power from these young people sababu vile wanatupeleka walianza vizuri lakini sasa mahali imefika a a mambo yaende poa so majamaa bana wana plot coup against uh, valentine stressor unfortunately hiyo coup inakuwa nipped in the bud hakuna mahali inaenda but valentine is a grabo stressor ni mtu amekathirika mbaya na shino nani anataka kuntoa kwa kiti so mzee akapeana orders akasema mtu yoyote alikuwa involved na hiyo coup niletewe hapa mara moja so kidogo kidogo kikosi kakusanywa huko wakaletwa valentine stressor akawapeleka kwa beach akawafunga kwa vikingi hapo na akaleta maaskari hapo wanaitwa firing squad na akasema mara moja angabizeni ama raia so ba, 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 ba. all 12 of them shot dead kwisha mambo yao ikaishia hapo <laughs> valentine stressor anakuja kugundua baadaye ya kwamba after ameorder wale majamaa waletwe ambao walikuwa wameorganize ile kuu kikosi ililetwa ilikuwa ni ya watu innocent ni kama kuna watu walikuwa wanataka kuficha the real perpetrator, perpetrators wakaleta innocent people so news ikatembea ulimwengu mzima ya kwamba valentine stressor ame massacre innocent people kwa beat. Oh 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 hakuna mtu alikuwa anataka kusikia story ya Valentine Stressor tena like that was a worldwide scandal ilikuwa ni noma deadly. So I think ilimu affect tu akaanza kukua yuko sawa. Anakuja tu kazi lakini inamsumbua sababu kila time anakumbushwa tu wewe umeua watu wetu bana walikuwa innocent umeweka chini nini nini ilimsumbua sana. So one time bana wanapiga piga mamikutano zao za serikali Valentine Stressor akaingia hiyo meeting akiwa unarmed na hakuwa na security personnel. Nani ana notice? Mzee mzima Julius Bio. Julius anapiga hesabu ya haraka haraka na wana wait a minute. Valentine ameingia meeting hana security, he is unarmed. Julius discovers this is the time. So right before hiyo mkutano ianze vizuri Julius Bio anaingia chini ya meza, anachomoa pistoli yake vizuri anapointia Valentine Stressor, anamwambia Gave, maze the time has come. Wewe umepiga rao yako kwa hii country, umefanya vile umefanya, but sasa tuna feel as a country ni poa tu uende nyumbani. Tafadhali, hakuna haja hii kitu ikuwe bloody and imekuwa already umeangusha watu innocent huko dunia mzima inajua. So wewe fanya hivi, we changamka, toka. Sisi tutakuweka kwenye transport mahali ulipeleka ule president wa kwanza tutakupeleka huko. So teke teke chopa inaletwa hapo haraka haraka, Valentine Stressor anawekwa ndani na chopa inaelekea wapi? Gini. In fact, <laughs> hii kitu ilifanywa ki haraka haraka deadly wakiwa kwa hewa wanaelekea gini, wana discover oh, tumeingia kwa hii chopa bana na Valentine Stressor tumemweka pingu na hakuna mtu alikumbuka kukuja na kifungua ya pingu. Tukifika huko gini nani atamfungua? <laughs> so ndege mm, rudi tena status wewe. Nani kifungua ya pingu bana ilisaulika. Kifungua anachukua teke teke eh, jamaa anapelekwa mpaka wapi? Paka gini. Bio anarudi kwenye country na ana appoint a civilian anampatia country. Na hiyo ni assignment yenu. Niambieni huyo president wa Sierra Leone ambaye alipatiwa power na Julius Bio ni nani? sababu ni mtu alishikilia for very long nimekeeni hapo kwa comments haya mzee mzima valentine stress ako gini alashindwa sasa nitaanzia wapi akalilia united nations akawaambia maze kusema ukweli mimi hizo makosa niliyekelewa ni watu walini, waliniweka kwa kona hiyo design mimi nilisema niletee wale watu wamekomiti hiyo kitu wakaniletea wase innocent maze hiyo haikuwa kupenda kwangu ili happen tutafadhalini nisameeni nisaidieni nitoeni huku huku ainibambi mi gini sasa nafanya nini gini united nations ni watu wanako na utu wakamsikiza wakasema wewe bado ni kijana mdogo at this time by the way ilikuwa ni 4 years later so alitolewa kwa kiti akiwa miaka 29 mnamo 1996 so united nations wakamfanya nini wakamlipia shule 
pale wawe wawe kiko UK aende asome sheria sababu ni kijana chop hatari sana in fact hiyo ndio reason wase walisema after ile kuu walisema wewe kwa president sababu kwa hiyo kikosi yeye ndio alikuwa amesoma sana yeye ndio kizungu yake ilikuwa fit na yeye ndio alikuwa tu chopi hapo so ni mse alikuwa na brains maze so akakimbizwa uh, wawe UK akaingia but katikati mazea semester huko wale Sierra Leoneans wako pale waka discover wait a minute um jamaa amekujaje shule yetu huko UK ini nonsense umse ameua ma brother zetu huko Sierra Leone alafu mnakuja kum, kumleta huko hakuna At, uh, by the way aspotolewa hii shule tunachoma hiyo time kuku ana twitter lakini kuna vile tu watu walikuwa wanachoma eh hey, so wao ikshule bana wakaona eh hey, okay umse anameza share manze so wakwambia jo ni noma UN wamesema hii semester peke yake ndio wanalipa eh, hii semester ikiisha bana eh, itabidi tu utafute shule ingine of course stress ana kazi haizi afford shule ingine UN washa pull out maze resources hawalipi shule tena so ikabidi maze arudi Afrika lakini haizi enda Sierra Leone sababu Sierra Leone wase bado wana machungu mse aliua watu wetu pale kwa beach so anaenda the neighboring country ya Gabon man pale Gabon hata airport hapiti sababu wase washapata intel maze the butcher walianza hata kumuita the butcher the butcher of Sierra Leone ako Gabon anataka entry into the country Sierra Leoneans wenye wako Gabon wamepiga noise wakasema huyo mtu asijaribu kupita hiyo airport otherwise akipita tunamalizana na yeye hapa kwa street so vile amekuja arudi hivyo hivyo mpaka mahali ana anataka so maze anaambiwa bana entry denied itabidi turudi Sierra Leone mtu wangu enda uombe watu hata msamaha huko waambie uliyekelewa ni you know enda ujitetee lia lia kidogo nikupatia namba ya Ruto oh okay sawa ah uh, we jamaa huyo teke teke akaingia mpaka Sierra Leone Sierra Leone hakuna mse anataka kuongea na yeye hakuna mse anataka story yake teke teke akarudi mpaka wapi kwa mama yake mzazi usha go Valentine Stressa akakula maisha ngori usha go from 1996 all through mpaka juzi i think 2020 ama ni 2019 wao jamaa amekuwa gatu ni maji anakata anakaa pale kwa roadside anatukana wase juu anaanza kuona nika wase wanamdharao nini bana ulikuwa president unawezaje kwa umesota hivi jo hata tie wezi ya forward na tuomba omba pe ilikuwa tu ni humiliating now a couple of years ago yule jamaa alitoa Valentine Stressa kwa kiti Julius Dio aliran na akapata eh, presidency successfully Sierra Leone so he is now the current president of Sierra Leone alikumbuka even though nilitoa huyu jamaa kwa power huyu jamaa kwa mseati ni mbaya ni vile tu alikuwa mtoto power ilimchanganya it can happen to any one of us so Julius Bio ali feel very indebted to this guy na akakuja maze akamtafuta mpaka pale kwa village akapata jamani mlevi mlevi ni mgonjwa mgonjwa akahakikisha jamaa kwanza ameingia hospitali na jamaa anapata treatment pale Ghana eh, Julius Bio akamtengenezea bonge la nyumba pale ushago na i think pesa ya ma upkeep nini unajua inakoga sheria ukisha retire as president unafaa uweke kwa payroll angalau so i guess julius bio ali feel um, um jamaa the only way tunaweza msaidia ni tukimpatia tu pesa kidogo ya matumizi na tumjenge hao angalau atoke ghetto huko ushago so sai hao iko unfortunately health yake haiko sawa vile uh, in fact siko sure kama amerudi kutoka Ghana anaweza kuwa amerudi siko sure Yeah but uh, at least sahi ako na Macau thanks to the sitting president Julius Bio. Yeah anasukuma maisha tu eh akingoja mwisho but is a very brilliant guy hata ukimsikia kiongea ni msai by the way ako na substance kwa kichwa. Ni vile tu bana timing ilikuwa tu mbaya <laughs> at 25 years tu sidanganyane hata wewe at 25 tungekupatia inchi ungeipeleka mahali kweli. Eh hey, wapi? <laughs> Tricky sana. Yeah, na hiyo ndio story ya Valentine Esegrabo Melvin Stressa, the youngest African president to date. Sidhani kuna president wa continent ashai kuwa younger than that at 23 years and 3 days man. Huh. Hey. Na story inakamilikia hapo wadao. Kama kawa kama dawa kama imekubamba bana piga subscription. Alafu wadao naona tumekuwa masana pale kwa kwa subscription taka tuingie tufanye hiyo kitu bofu ya hiyo kitu tu unajua wengi wenu mna watch na majagonga hiyo kitu ya subscribe igonge tu gonga tu in fact kwa hii episode bugongeni tu nione tutaenda hadi wapi gonga tu yeah sasa 
Of course kikubamba zaidi na unasikia uko na machingli zinakusumbua cheza kama wewe kuna till number pale fanya mambo au sio Iwabambe sana wadau na watambua sana adios muchachos peace mm.